Sidestepping is a tool people use in jazz and fusion to momentarily step outside of the key and come back in. What does it mean to sidestep? It means that you go up a half step or down a half step in your thinking and then you resolve back into the key. Now let's just take mixolydian as an example and use the key of A. We have this sound. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, let's say, go up a half step to B flat mixolydian, borrow notes from that, and then we're gonna resolve, like. So it makes it sound like you're doing something complex because the notes you're borrowing have nothing to do with that tonality and that root, but it's more of a rhythmic tool if you can control playing a certain length of time. Let's say 16th notes for a measure. So you got daga 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 resolve, right? So B flat, maybe. And then I resolve to A. It's really more about feeling rhythmically when you're sort of out of space in the measure and resolving neatly. So let's say I take this B flat triad right here and try to connect it to this B flat and make a line that lasts about a measure, something like. See, after a measure, I went straight into that A mixolydian sound. Let's go from a half step below, A flat. It's nicer when you have some leaps in there where the line is not just up downy. Like this doesn't sound like good sidestepping. too up and downy scaly, but if you go like You can also make it cool by using rhythms that are interesting. Pat Metheny has a good example of sidestepping in his original solo on Have You Heard, the second chorus. He starts with this line that just is just like it's in C Dorian, but a half step up. He's basically playing D flat Dorian over a C minor chord, but the rhythm is good. He's going. That da da do ga pa 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 da pa pa. That kind of syncopated rhythm is a good vehicle for a sidestep because it sounds good on its own. So let's just take his idea, which is basically just playing a Dorian mode up, and we'll just start at a half step up from the third. So if I'm in A minor, starting from C, here, here's my idea. It would look like. But if I just take it a half step up, I'm gonna start it on C sharp. So it's really in B flat Dorian, starting from D flat. And then I'm resolving back to the notes of A Dorian. So now it's gonna be like. Taking that rhythm, pa ba pa 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 da pa pa. So it's ta da da ka pa 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 back two three four pa da da ta 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 da da. So B flat Dorian. A lot of ideas like that. I'm gonna play over a backing track for a minute and just show you some of these ideas in action. So I'm going to start a half step up. Another one. Starting inside, going out, up a half step, back down. Like a... Starting a half step down in A flat. Like. Then 
that the thinny kind of idea, a half step up. So as you can see, what you're doing here is really a time thing. Not so much the rhythms you play, but just the awareness of the space. You're creating symmetry. One measure dissonance, one measure resolving, right? Two beats dissonance, two beats resolving. So if I'm just counting off two and two, that's something to do like one e and the two e and the in, out, in, out, in, out, in. And it's about being able to voice lead to somewhere close inside the in part that's not some huge leap to where it sounds like you're just, you know, hail marrying the resolution. So. If you're imagining it in A. Half step down. So that's how you sidestep in these contexts. It's a much more powerful tool over static things, funk, fusion kind of stuff. When you're playing over jazz changes that are moving quickly, it's something you can still do, but it really obscure the sounds of the changes. So it's really something people use when you have some sort of situation when you're on a chord for a while and you can weave out and then back into the tonality. Very cool, I hope this is useful and subscribe to the channel, click all the things, unsubscribe from all of our competitors, of course, and we'll see you next time.